Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurfi Triza Binti Abdul Aziz from AS1144 A1. My name is Nur Shahadah Binti Abdul Mali and I am from AS1144 A1. What is SARS? SARS is a severe acute respiratory syndrome. is a viral respiratory illness caused by a coronavirus called a SARS-associated coronavirus or SARS-CoV. SARS is an epidemic disease that had infected peoples in 29 countries from November 2002 until July 2003. SARS is an epidemic, an outbreak was first identified in Foshan, Guangdong, China on 16 November 2002. What causes SARS? This virus was traced and believed originated from Hoshu beds in Yunnan, China. This SARS coronavirus has spread in humans directly or through animal health in Chinese market. The virus from the animals has jumped across species. SARS is caused by a viral called SARS-Associated Coronavirus or SARS-CoV, which is a virus that takes over your body cells and uses to make copies of itself. It is a member of the coronavirus family have been found in many different animal species including birds and mammals. SARS-CoV is thought to have passed from animals to humans through close contact, butchering or eating undercooked meat in parts of southern China. How do SARS spread? SARS easily spread by close contact person to person, which are through cough or sneezing, spraying tiny droplets of liquid with the virus to other people within 2 to 3 feet of people who live with or are in close contact with someone who has SARS are more likely to get it than someone who is just passing by or sharing a room with an infected person. Other people may infect by the SARS by touching something those droplets eat, then touching their nose, mouth, or eyes. Symptoms of SARS According to the World Health Organization WHO, patients who has infected by the SARS coronavirus have flu-like symptoms, begin like a fever with temperature over 38 degrees Celsius, feeling tired, muscle ache. There are also 1 in 5 people with SARS get diarrhea. The patient may have developed dry cough after 2 to 7 days, breathing shortness and become worse, breathing using machine. 60-year-old people and have diabetes and hepatitis most likely have or can lead to health problems like pneumonia, heart failure and liver failure. How do people with SARS being diagnosed? People with SARS being diagnosed through fever, chest pain and difficulty to breathe. Treatment of SARS First, people with SARS must go to the hospital for the further checkup. Next, they need to get IV fluid or oxygen. Third, they must consume antibiotic. And fourth, they must isolate it from other people. And fifth, if their condition getting worse, they might need a ventilator machine to help them to breathe. How to prevent from SARS? We can prevent from SARS by always washing our hand regularly with soap and water. Use hand sanitizer with alcohol based. Wear mask and do not touch your nose, eyes or mouth with dirty hands. Wipe surface like countertops with disinfectant. Apply social distancing in crowd places. Other than that, to avoid the spread among the countries, the government has making efforts to control, such as controlling the main entrance of the country, 
especially in airports. Temperature checks and health screening, 14 days quarantine for visitors and movement control order. Condition of the country during SARS outbreak. SARS has caused suffering to patient and family health, social as well as economic. The deadly outbreak has immersed global anxiety. The movement of the country is blocked. The employment sector and business are disrupted. And the people suffering from financial, food and other life problems. Lastly, I hope all people can apply good hygiene practices in order to prevent any fatal viruses from emerge. That's all from us. Thank you.